Hello everybody, and welcome back to my re let's play of Little Nightmares. From where we last left off, we've avoided being on the dinner menu, and now we're in the ladies' quarters. Now this is what you may remember from my original let's play of Little Nightmares. And also, if you may recall, I had to, I had to delay my, I had to delay my final episode of, the final episode of my original let's play of this. And that was because that was mainly because of the collapse of Monarch Airlines from twenty. 17. I remember flying with Monica before, you know, to Egypt and back. You know, a Sharm El Sheikh. And I hope this time when things have settled down at over uh, things have settled down at Sharm, I think I'm better off flying over there with Thomas Cook. And also I forgot to mention I've got a new video game called Bendy and the Ink Machine, which I'll explain a little bit more about that. But right now we've got to go in here. There's, there's a lady doing the humming, remember, from the eye channel. But before we go any further, let's show off what she does. <laughs> oh, you didn't see that. <laughs> you, you didn't see what happened because that man, one of the mannequins was in the way. I'll show off that again, but this time. <coughs> Time with other mannequin in the way. <laughs> oh, so close! Oh, I did it again with the with the flare. If I'm if you remember the secrets of the mall when I did the last play of that, I shine the flashlight on. <laughs> Still, there should be a sign that says... I think, again, there should be a sign that says... Do not... Do not turn on flares in the presence of spooky ladies by order! I wonder what happens if I get too close to her. Yep. If I guess she knows if you get too close to her. Like she knows I have no respect for personal boundaries. You only oh, noticed that mask she was wearing. That was like a, 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 like a kabuki mask. Of some kind. Or a prosthetic one. Oh, mustn't. Send a ton of flare when she's about. Like I did in Secrets of the Moor with a runaway kid. With the, with the flashlight. You know that song she's singing, like... <sighs> like that. It's like the song you sing to a child, you know, like a lullaby. <coughs> Good thing she's not gonna come in here. Oops. But hide. You didn't hear nothing. This is a bad hiding spot. Oh god, she's gonna f Oh god, you're gonna find me. Maybe I guess singing isn't the best option. You know bending the ink machine I mentioned earlier. Yeah, well, that's like that too is like a horror puzzle strategy game. But this time you're set in like an abandoned animation studio where uh, recently, I encountered the ink demon. Recently, where he oh, he just creeped me out, and then it was a when he gets you, it's like a one-hit kill. I mean, he's different to any other monsters I've ever encountered, like the demons in Doom. So let's get this over with. I mean, I still need to get through the whole game bending the ink machine. Also, if you look at Bendy in that game, his head does kind of remind me of Mandy, you know, off of the Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. The cartoon I remember when it was on telly. But I still sometimes watch it online, though. You know, for nostalgia purposes, but... Oh, it's gonna be a dark hallway in here. Oh, but you thought that was her. I mean, 
you really never know when one of those mannequins are going to be here. Oh, it hurts so cold in here. Well, last time I checked, this is the mall, not the, not a haunted house attraction. Oh, I better make it through there without getting caught. Yep, there she is. Oh! You got me! Oh, so close to get out! <coughs> Let's try again. I think the flares will go out when he's about to. Yeah, that may sound cheating when doing this. Whew. That was close. She nearly got me there. Oh, better avoid the glass than to avoid cutting my feet on them. I mean, I'm not going to do like the rocket power reference again. I mean, it's a good job I'm not in twister shoes when picking up rubbish. Oh, I think I remember this room when I was staying there not knowing what to do. And I was like... Where, where's the lady? I, I was all like, come on, man, this isn't funny! Well, the thing is, we need to find a mi an un unbroken mirror in this bit. <coughs> and there's a plank of wood again. And again, it's a good choice. It's a good job is not mahogany, like in the loud house. Wait a minute. If she. If I grab the mirror. Nope, she's not there. She, she only appears if I grab this mirror. And I'll basically show her off again. There she is, waiting. She got me from a distance! Think again, was her father by... Was her father by... Was her father by any chance a wizard? Or a magician? I had no idea she could get me from that distance. She could get you from anywhere if you're not in the light. See if she could get me from here. It's like she's waiting for me. Are you gonna stand here all day or can we just get this over with? Well, I, I, I can't tell where she got me from, from this distance, from, in the dark. Kind of similar to what Mark Plyer did when he did a Let's Play of this. Well, this time, let's get this over with. Let's challenge the lady once again. Pardon me for loosening up. Follow my lead on this and you'll be fine if you have this game. Let's see. Ah, there's a light. Now watch carefully. Yep, you have to have to reflect the mirror back at her. Besides, she can't take she can't take her like unbroken mirrors while she's wearing a mask. Remember the like secrets of the mall where she was unaffected by the unbroken mirrors because she was not wearing that mask. If I get around to doing a real let's play of that, you'll see what I mean.
on. I'll explain more about what I've done after defeating the lady. One more hit and she'll be down. Yeah! And also, I recently did a... Ma oh yeah, mind you, I did a Manchester to Orlando flight on Flight Simulator on the Virgin Atlantic AC-30, which was on the day of my Auntie Suzanne's birthday. Mind you, I bet she'd be proud of me when doing horror stuff like this. Mind you, she was quite amazing. I mean, I'll bet you, I'll bet you any money that she's in heaven. I mean, I'll bet you she's in heaven right now, looking down on me. You know, where the, is that a mask? I believe that's a mask. Well, oh yeah, we have to eat her before. Oh no! That's like the dog earlier. Not only was it bad eating the rat and the gnome, but now we've eaten a grown woman! <coughs> All you can see here, she's inherit it's like inheriting the lady's powers. That's what we need to get out of here. These guys from the dinner level. <coughs> What's what happens? As far as they don't even know what was going on. Finally! <sighs> oh, there's one of the gnomes. Don't know what's going to happen to them. Uh, they're probably likely to stay in the mall or probably get out of there. And anyway, that's my real let's play of Little Nightmares. And I'd like to thank you all for watching it. I hope to see you all next time if I get around to doing my real let's play of Secrets of the Mall. And so, and so until then, bye!